Do you ever have any consistent pain or any nagging pain that you just deal with in your body that's it's like, why is this here? Sometimes when I wake up, yeah. um, and then lower back occasionally, but that's mostly after a leg day where I'm doing squats or um, deadlifts. Okay. When you say when you wake up, what kind of pain do you have when you wake up? Sometimes just my neck based on how I slept. Blood scope is making a hard break. Pull right here on the right side, in the mid neck. You can go ahead and bring your neck back here. So this scoping that we do is part of what we call the Gonstead system of chiropractic, which is what we're inevitably doing here. And Dr. Gonstead had this scope that he developed over years before building the biggest practice in maybe the world at the time. He would have people fly in from all over the world to fix them because he was just that kind of doctor. And he developed this nervous scope to pick up the temperature differences. And how about that nurse, Jen? What are we seeing here? Mm -hmm. Huge jump as we glide down. Everything's consistent. Watch this scope just going to go to the left. 15 points-ish and jump right back. And when we look at the thoracolumbar junction, we're talking about sympathetic innervation to a lot of, you know, organs that have to do with a lot of important hormones. Okay. And that's a very big clue, which we'll show you on the x-ray why if that makes sense to us. So this would just help detect the pressure in the spine. And that's what we do. We remove pressure from those joints that are subluxated or misaligned in the spine. What about this right here? Mm, doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great? Okay. Yeah. Show me it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just use a little bit of pain. <laughs> go ahead and uh, uh, stand just slightly so I can pull this down up. Okay, and go ahead and sit back down. We're going to do what we call this very sophisticated word for it. It's called the forward bending test. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. You're going to feel my hands in the air. Yeah. And don't worry, you're velcroed up front. So go ahead and bend forward like you're going to touch your toes. Keep on going all the way down. And come back up. Okay. Maybe a slight bit on the right. And now go ahead and just kind of sit up straight and rock back into my hand up top. Yep. A few times. Just go back and now all the way forward. There you go, right there, and come back. There you go. And from neutral, any tenderness in here. So maybe a little bit at the lumbar, and now sit up straight, belly forward. Oh, yeah. I don't even have to help you back too hard. This is the spot. Do you innately or instinctively know that this is the spot? Yeah, it feels like it. Especially once you've stretched it. Yeah. So she had a big 15 point reading here. There's actually edema and swelling around the joint. We look for what we call in chiropractic edema and swelling. Not that you had a traumatic fall and you need to go to the ER. That's why we mm -hmm. take the x-rays to know that that's not a problem. But this has a different tissue tone to it and it doesn't motion well at all. Where my hand is right now in that section of the neck or up here where my- No, lower. Lower? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, here's what we're going to do. There's not a lot of degeneration down in these joints. There's nothing alarming from like an injury standpoint. However, when you get into the thoracolumbar junction, where we got like our major reading through mm -hmm. here, this actually doesn't continue to make a nice curve back. And then as you get to like Let's actually count it to be specific. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. So here at T12, your spine, now again, I'm going to exaggerate this a little, but truthfully, this is what it's doing. From 12, it's actually going straight up into the cervical spine. So do you see how we'd like to see something that kind of curves a little further back okay. and then curves back this way? So in other words, we want to see like lordosis kyphosis, meaning it curves back this way, like a C here, and then we want our backward C down here at the bottom. So if I'm exaggerating, and then I'll show you the cervical uh, view. So your spine is curving here, and then right here, for whatever reason, 
we call it now a compensation. It compensates the way we want this. We want this to be 30 to 45 degrees curved this way, and this is just shooting straight up. Is that from sitting like this all day, or is it from walking out, or? It's, it's possible. So here's the thing is we don't really know why. If you said, is it from sitting on the computer all day, and now that we're all looking at our phones, sure, and I was gonna get to this, you have hair in the cervical spine, I guess that's pretty obvious from here. A, a reverse curve. Mm -hmm. See how it's going to this side? Forward. It's going forward. It's supposed to go backward. It's supposed to be about 35 degrees back this way. And then you have like negative 10 to 15 degrees almost going Do you see that a lot? We see it a lot. Okay. Like, not like a freak? A lot. No, no. I mean, it's not. The only reason I'm going to say that yours is a little concerning is it's not that it's straight, it's reverse. Yeah. It's begun to reverse. So if this is you standing straight, neutral, and to take the view like this today. So I mean we have so here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven's probably going forward a little bit, but then if I was to draw lines here, here, and here in the back of five, six, and seven. Six and five and then four are, and three are really tipped forward. So maybe the little ladies like this. Well, that's why we'll, we'll get them yeah. adjusted and then I'll show you some cool things. Well, in particular, five, six, and seven have to do with our sympathetic chain ganglia. It's part of the sympathetic nervous system that feeds our head, face, thyroid. So we got a big pressure reading in there. Okay. And I felt it when I did my palpation, so something is stuck. So we're going to definitely carefully look at which bone and the listing and make the adjustment up there. That's why we're going to adjust this focus today there. and really focus on that and try to relieve that pressure there. You know, yeah. getting this influence to move that way and then get the curve to come back. But I think this is going to make the biggest difference out of the gates and whatever we okay. found up there as well. Okay. That makes sense. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, ready to get started? Yeah. Is it 12 or 11? 12. 12. Okay, 12. 12 is. So now you're going to feel this unlock and go down. PRS. There it is. <laughs> Turn your head to the right and relax. And breathe in and all the way out. Because just that little one is where we need to start. Okay. I know that felt good because like almost like surprising. Like, yeah. I didn't know that could could cavitate like that. <laughs> Put your head back to center. Raise your chin up a little bit and let everything relax. You're there. Big breath in and all the way out. There it is. <laughs> we had to set it three times to get it all. Nice. That's amazing. <laughs> no, that hurts so good. But that's good though. No, we got we got what we needed to get there. That's good. And then we check that neck out. I'm only going to adjust your one spot. Go ahead. Oh, oh no. Perfecto. <laughs> That's a lot of cracks. <laughs> good. Good. I'm so glad I have on makeup today. <laughs>